Not long into winter, a plane flew in overhead. This was suspicious as it was actually a thing I had not built directly. After unintentionally swinging for a bit, I met Molly of the Flying Pigs. Not sure why anyone would want to be called that, but perhaps it's aspirational. She talked about exploring even more ruins in the area, which would likely have more things for me to hit with a sword, so I was all on board. Over at the research center, I gave Petra a used CD, which made her so happy she did a twirl. This prompted me to also do a twirl in my heart. Apparently, this was also her birthday, which I totally did not know. However, I then made it my mission to seek out as many used discs as possible to make my new boo happy. Once more, I ran into Tweedlesuck and Tweedlesuckier, who tasted the power of Mjolnir and quickly turned into blubbering idiots. Well, bigger blubbering idiots. At the Winter Festival, I attempted to get a group photo. However, my horse Silver had other plans and photobombed the whole town. I attempted to get Silver to go home for a reshoot, which did not work out either. This was indeed one gift horse that I would look in the mouth. By the end of the month, I received a letter from Dad, who we can only assume accomplished next to nothing while he was in Portia. I mean, when I moved here, the house was small, the yard was barren, there were no machines running. Anyway, Pierre just wanted to write to say he's still alive, for now, and suggested you could have a building contest one day. A contest Abigail would likely win immediately while Pierre attempted to plant seeds that will build things for him. Oh, Pierre. Riding in on a white stallion on the first day of the new year, Abigail stood proud on the top of the builder's platform while Higgins looked on dismayed. Good. This was truly a great moment. Mayor Gale then handed me an invisible trophy for the real prize was in my heart the entire time. But then I got an actual trophy, which is much better. And so Abigail's first year in Portia comes to a close. Will we rejoin her story later? Perhaps, but right now I'm on to play other things. Let me know if you like these kinds of serialized playthroughs and maybe I'll do more in the future. Thanks.